three-year-old Phoenix Rata knows exactly what bees can do. They sting you. But he also knows what these bees are busy making. Like honey. Like honey. Phoenix's parents, Anne Marie and Juwin, are beekeepers, committed to bringing bees back into Hamilton City. Dad does most hive checks. And Mum runs a business that's called Zen Bees. And they do bees all over town. Anne Marie wasn't always involved until one day she had to look after the hives herself. He'd guide me through the checks and it became such an amazing experience. I found bees are really good for your zen, so you had to be really calm when checking them. So if you're calm, they remain calm. Um, they're just an amazing creature, they really are. The, um, learning about them through Juin, I developed a real passion and wanted to take it further. Since then, she's gained qualifications in apiculture and set up their new business venture, Zen Bees. Not only are bees good for your zen, but you're good for them if you have good zen. So it, it teaches calmness. They are increasing bee numbers around Hamilton by putting beehives on properties in the area, including this childcare centre. Look at that, that's a frame of bees. So they're busy. They're very busy. Can you see the honey? My, my tummy and my eggs got honey coming. We tried to breed a really gentle strain, um, especially around children, because you can get different temperaments of bees. The bees come from? From the, bee, the beehive to get the flowers to make the honey. Oh, oh good. Yeah, that's awesome. Awesome. Childcare manager Tracy Auburn says the children are fascinated by their new friends. They want to know more, they're always asking questions, they talk about it, they talk about it at home with their parents, they will you know, go on and talk about it with the teachers and then the teachers will go on and do learning stories, so it's very educational. Across town, Lisa Jukes says their bees have quickly taken on the role as the family pet. Because the children have allergies, so I'm trying to think what kind of animals can we have, like what kind of pets? So at least we could have the bees and um, just for them it's something that's a little bit interesting and helps them know about I guess biodiversity and how the bees fit into the whole system, um, being the pollinators. Can you see on here there's little beads of pollen and that's what they pick up? Mm. Oh actually in there. Yeah, can you tiny. see it, the little yellow it. and it sticks to their leg so mm. she's trying to pick it up. The bees just kind of get on with doing their thing and the children haven't been stung and we hardly notice them, they're there, but they just add a real interest to the, to the section in town. With the couple both holding down daytime jobs, beekeeping is reserved for weekends and evenings, meaning more often than not, the kids gear up too. Our customers um, love that we bring our children and I've even had quotes from customers saying this is the good old fashioned Kiwi business, we love this. The kids love the making and the cutting up stuff just as much as the beekeeping and stuff as well. They all help me paint all these boxes and do everything and do help with the stencils and yeah it's great. A business with an educational twist that's doing its bit to help our environment too. We done. We're done I think. We Should we have some honey now? Yeah. yeah. Is it nice? Hunter Calder, Local Focus.